and welcome to another tutorial video. This one is because I was asked to do this in the groups pages and it's regarding the uh, problem people have if the SD card dies and they need to reformat and set up their uh, Raspberry Pi again. Um, there are instructions out there, um, I'll show you where the instructions are in a moment. Um, they are quite straightforward to use but as anything if somebody can actually walk you through it and you can see them walking through it um, some people prefer that so that's what the aim of this video is um, if you do need to do this use the use the uh, website that I'm going to show you it's uh, Mark McIntyre's wiki pages for the UK MonPy tools um, that's where all the information is coming from so I'm just going to walk through um, what I've got here so at the moment I've, I'm, I've got my camera UK001Z running on a Pi I've got another Pi that I've installed the uh, Pi image to the RMS image now this is an old um, image that I've got it's about two years old but it's, it's still absolutely fine it's already got the UK Mon Pi tools installed um, I'll have to check if the latest version does or not but if not you'll need to install the Pi tools manually um, and then I've got a Windows PC that I'm using to actually show that web page just to keep the workload off the Pi so I'll be flicking between the three I'm using any desk as the remote desktop software uh, and hopefully this this is quite straightforward um, I followed these instructions before and they worked perfectly I'll follow them again hopefully I won't have any errors but if I do maybe it'll help you if you uh, get errors in this sort of thing so let's go and see how we do this Okay, so first thing, let's get rid of my ugly mug off the screen. I'll just uh, disappear off up the top here. I'll just minimize my, my bad self up there. That's me out of the way. So, as you can see, I'm on the uh, wiki pages, the github.com, Mac 99. It's all up there. I'll put a link in the uh, description below um, so that uh, you can do this. And don't forget, like and subscribe down below if the work that we're doing... Uh, is worthy of a like and subscribe if it isn't don't <laughs> so here's the big question why do I need to back up well I think we all know this SD cards they're not uh, built like tanks they don't last forever if there's lots of power cuts you get corruption when do you take the backup as soon as your cards configured and fully up and running I'd say um, because it could happen at any time. I mean, I've had cameras here that have been running for nearly two years. So far, I've not had a card die. Not one of my own, anyway. Um, other cards have gone down for other people, um, and I've had to do that. So it can happen, and there's no, no knowing when that will happen. So as soon as you've got your fully configured system going and you've got it calibrated, I suggest that's the time that you get all the files backed up so that if you need to do this, you can be up and running in no time, providing you've got a spare SD card, or you can reflash the old card if it's still usable, you can be up and running in no time at all. So, what files do, ne do you need to back up? Well, there's the plate par file, which is your calibration file, the mask file, which is the one that cuts out all of the extra rubbish around the edges, plants, bits of buildings, anything that may cause false detections, and the config file that's located in the home Pi source RMS folder. Now your Pi, if it's been supplied by me, will have the hidden files bit turned on. If it isn't, if you can't see anything in that folder, make sure you go into the menus and make sure you say show hidden files. There you will then see the .config file. You need the entire contents of the .ssh folder, showing you the path here. Again, that's a hidden folder, so you need to have that turned on. And the ukmon.ini file, which is in the ukmon Pi Tools folder, again, there's the full path. If you haven't installed the Pi Tools yet, of course, they won't be on there, so you need to get that installed before you can do all this. So, how do you restore it? Well, let's not restore it yet, let's do the backup. So what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go into the... Uh, camera that's currently running hopefully this doesn't cause any problems but at the moment it's cloudy so uh, what we're going to do is I'm, as I'm saying I'm using any desk so this is I have the live viewer turned on um, most of you won't have this unless you've turned it on yourself 
I'm going to use the file transfer button up here in any desk. Your remote software that you're using should have uh, something like this. Uh, unfortunately, I can see it's cutting off the edge. So here is the, I'm going into the desktop folder on my Mac and I've created a folder to do the backup. So this side is now the backup folder that I'm going to use, which is on the PC or the Mac I'm actually running from at the moment. I'm going to go into the source folder, into the RMS, and in here you can see we've got the plate path, the mask, and I'm going to and the config which is down here. So I've got those three, which are the three in that folder, home, pi, source, RMS, and I'm going to download them into my backup folder and you'll see them appearing here. Next we need to go back up a directory using this. A couple of clicks and then you'll see it's greyed out but it is there, the .sh folder. I'm going to download that one. It's now appeared over this side. And then I need to go into the source exactly as it says in the instructions, UK Mon Pi Tools and download the UK Mon Ini file. That has now appeared over here. So we've now backed up all of the files that are listed in the wiki page. So what I'm going to do now, because that's capturing... Oops, I knew it would upset it. Oh no, I think we're back. Because we're hoping for a uh, picture of an asteroid later this evening, but with that cloud, I doubt it. I'm now going to close the uh, camera pie down before I cause it any further upsets. I don't need that one anymore because that's the one I'm backing up to a brand new pie. So, go back to the page here of how to do things. I've now found out that I'm back on the screen. I disappeared off. What we're now going to do is, now we have the files backed up, we're going to follow some of these instructions. Now it says here to download the latest UK Mon image from here, install it as normal, and go through the process. Let it create the new, S, uh, the new key for the GMN server, but don't send it. Let that part of the installation finish. If you came on Pi tools are not already installed in that image, then you need to go through the instructions of how to install them. I'll put a link at the bottom of this uh, video to help you find that. Then we need to restore the three files, the plate part, the mask and the config. Restore the UK Mon, any file, restore the SSH folder, and then we need to set permissions of, of those keys. If you don't do that, the incorrect positions uh, permissions are set and the files won't work. It's very easy to do that Mark's given the exact instructions there. So what we'll now do is we'll go back to the, let's say the new Pi. This is a Pi I've set up. Um, I use it for troubleshooting on various things. So this one hasn't got a full configuration and plate par file set up. So I'll go into that. Again, I'm using AnyDesk. And I will now go into the file transfer box. I've got to find, unfortunately, I've noticed I've cut off the, the edge again of the screen. Um, so on the bit you can't see, I'm going back into the backup folder that I created on the Mac that I'm currently running on. I need to go into source, into RMS, and then we need to put back in there the mask, the plate path, and the config file. So I've clicked on all three on the left. I'm going to tell them to upload it to the freshly flashed Pi. Hit download that that won't work with it. I need to click upload. So 
So hopefully now, now we've got a UK mon in, you finally met. So I'll do all that, delete that file, that's a mistake. Let's try that again. We'll upload the plate part, the mask and the config. I'm going to copy and replace, copy and replace because it, it did some. So now we can see there's a mask, a plate part and a config file and it shows they were modified this morning. Well I was using that Pi this morning. So that is the files copied across. So you can see you can easily mess it up on such a simple system as this. So I've now copied those three in. I now need to go into the SSH folder. Now on this one I've already got files but I'm going to copy across all the new files that are on my, which is this one now? These were what were backed up. So the old UK Mon, the old publish pub files, the host file, are all being uploaded into here. And I'll ask it to do for all of this. There we go, those files are all now all across there. And I can tell it's the right ones because it's from March 21, which is when the camera was set up. So I've copied those into the correct folder, which is the SSH folder. And then we need to go into the source. I'm going to find it first. Source, UK on Pi Tools. And we've got a, an any file there, but I'm going to obviously copy the new one across. If I can find them. Computers decided to start playing around with the uh, just to find the folder. There we are, and we should somehow have the UK mon. I'm going to upload the UK mon any file from the backup. So now what I've done, I've copied all the files as per the instructions here. I did a bit of a dog's breakfast with it. Um, as always, when you've got a camera in your face, things don't quite work as they should. So I've gone through all of this now. I've uh, restored those files. I've restored the any file. I've restored the contents of the SSH files. Now all I need to do is to set permissions of the key files. So I'll do, I'll go into the Pi. This is the new Pi, the reflashed Pi. I'll open a terminal window, I'll go back to the web page and I will copy and paste. And it didn't shout, which means it's worked. And I will copy and I will paste. Again, no errors. So if I now exit out of that, if I look at the RMS config file, I can see straight away it's got all my details in there. Um, so it knows straight away, I know straight away that that's working. So now that's all done, we've copied all the correct configuration files over and we've set the permissions for the files correctly. Uh, I'll run the first run script here. And we'll just see that everything seems to work. So here we can see it's now running through trying to capture images. Of course, there's nothing for it to capture. Um, but that's fine. Everything seems to be okay. So that is how we do the backup and the restoring of the files and set the correct per permissions. That saves you having to send the files off to the GMN or the UK Mon servers admins gives them a little less work and also gets you back online hopefully in no time at all. So I hope this video has been useful. If it is, please uh, give us a note below to, to give us your comments. If there's anything else you wish to uh, 
know about the RMS systems that, that I can be of help with, then uh, please leave a message in the groups pages. Until next time, bye bye.